Today I'm going to tell a little personal story about a time when Lance Armstrong told me to shut the f*** up. So the year was 1991. I was a competitive bike racer from an early age. I had dreams of racing in the Tour de France. I did pretty well by winning state championships and other regional events. It allowed me to race in a couple of national caliber events. One of those was in Colorado Springs. I get to stay at the Olympic Training Center for a week and be treated like a king. To get on a plane and go race against guys that have been groomed to be Olympic athletes was intimidating. So my week at the Olympic Training Center was really special. But one thing I ran into was guys like Bobby Julik, Lance Armstrong. They were kind of dickheads, to be honest with you. But I get it. They live there. And you got a guy from the deep south who's living in their dorm for a week. They probably didn't like it. So Lance Armstrong is on the payphone in the hallway of the dorm. And he put the phone to his side, looked at me, and yelled in front of everybody, You, shut the f*** up. And I shut the f*** up. It's Lance Armstrong. Even back then, he was a big name. And he was intimidating. I would say he was probably 19. He looked like he was going on 30. And I was probably 17 or 18 looking like I was going on 15. But I knew enough to know that if I would have mouthed off to Lance Armstrong, I would have been on a plane back home in about two minutes. You know, I went on to have pretty decent results in cycling. Obviously, nothing like Lance Armstrong. I had some good times. It really formed who I am as a person. The ups and downs, the crashes, the just depleting your body physically and mentally and overcoming that over and over and over again. It really shaped me for the trials and tribulations of life. For instance, much like Lance, I found myself in a race to win against cancer that also metastasized to vital organs. So I'm not gonna go into that story yet. I will save it for the near future. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the drive with me today as I reminisced about a time I was humiliated by greatness. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below.